Something that I will never forget about September 11th is just the, man, tearing up, intense need to call my dad, who's an Air Force veteran. I was in school and there was sheer chaos. I was in the Corps Cadets. I was in eighth grade English class. I was active duty military, working in the mental health clinic at that moment. I think all of us in the clinic knew uh, that we would be going to war. Everybody within the room um, and everybody I saw that day you know, knew the world had changed. Something I hear often is the sentiment that a lot of individuals wanted to join the military after September 11th. The impact that event had on our country in our way of life, um, it was a, a you know, personal driver for me to say, hey, I want to go you know, meet this head on, you know, support and defend the Constitution of the United States. From a mental health perspective, um, I certainly envisioned us as mental health officers being deployed and supporting troops. When our military family started our journey back in 2003-2004, um, there weren't many services to support military families. Colon Veterans Network was launched in 2016 with five clinics with the goal of 15. And we quickly realized we needed to do more and could do more. And so we scaled to 25 clinics. Cohen Veterans Network is an organization that's filling the gap. It's filling the gap in care for families, for children, for veterans, for their families, National Guard, but now we're seeing active duty. Cohen Veterans Network is focused on post 9-11 veterans because our effort to get ahead of the problem, that we can help families, we can help service members, we can help veterans before their mental health conditions become chronic, before their behaviors become debilitating. We wanna do prevention, early intervention. We wanna be there for them when they need us. When they raise their hand and they ask for help, we're available. So I'm here reading a quote from a client at our clinic, and the quote says, the experience was amazing. I walked in not believing that it was going to help me at all. I'm walking out knowing so much and understanding possibilities with my PTSD, and that there's hope with life with my PTSD. And I think this is probably such a common sentiment that we see at the CVN clinics. And it's really cool to see. It's cool to see people who maybe came in with a little bit of nervousness or skepticism about therapy and walked out being able to live a life that they didn't expect that they could have. I am new to the clinic, but I already feel as if it's a lifesaver. I was so lost and struggling. They were able, able to get me in quickly. Every staff member has been extremely friendly and helpful. It has made a world of difference to just know someone cares and wants to help. Hearing that is like, that is why we do what we do. That's, that's it to the T, it's being a lifesaver. I am very surprised at the progress that I have been making. I really thought I was a hopeless case. Oh gosh. I didn't realize how powerful behavior and thoughts were on mood, this clinic is a literal lifesaver for this combat vet. It's meaningful. I'm so happy we were there. This makes me feel so good and really emphasizes and underscores why we do what we do every day. CBN is keeping our promise to military veterans and their families and communities by doing exactly what we said we would do, provide accessible, high quality mental health care with no barriers. We'll provide transportation to the clinic if you don't have it. If you have children and you need child care, we'll provide that for you. The family aspect is really what drew me to supporting Cohen Veterans Network because you know the, the families share the hardships of our service members, you know, understanding that they deploy together and it's only a right that they heal together. What I think is important for everybody to remember about post 9-11 veterans is the heart, their, their commitment. And that's just a beautiful thing to commit to something so selfless and 
beyond yourself. It's important to remember that for many of these families, someone may not be at the table anymore. We need to remember to love our military and honor their service and sacrifice. One thing I hope we always remember is that our service members, our veterans, our military families answered the call to serve after 9-11. They answered the call to serve a purpose greater than themselves. And I really feel strongly that it's our responsibility to take care of them for generations to come.